Hi, I'm Noah Evan. Welcome to part two of this series on saxophone articulation. This session will be devoted to staccato articulation. Staccato in Italian means detached or separated, and it's marked in your music with a dot above or below the note head. In music, I like to think of staccato as separated, shortened, lifted, or music with bounce. Staccato notes are not necessarily very, very short. The length of your staccato notes will actually depend on the tempo, the rhythm you're playing, or other context, like the character or style that you're going for in that section of music. Really, it depends on your artistic vision. Generally, there are two ways to produce staccato articulation. The first is air darts, short spurts of air controlled by the airstream. Air darts are used at slower tempos or rhythms. The second is tongue stop. Tongue stop is short bursts of pressurized air controlled by movements of the tongue. Tongue stop staccato is used at faster tempos or rhythms. We're going to start by working on air darts. Again, these are short spurts of air and they come from the abdominal area, like you're shooting darts with your air. And so I can feel my abs contracting with every single air dart. And these create nice bounce in your music and separation between notes. So we're going to take just the neck of the instrument and we're going to play eighth notes at 60 beats per minute without using our tongue at first. Although typically we do want to start notes with our tongue or start new phrases with our tongue depending on the articulation markings. But this time, for the sake of the exercise, we want to practice starting the notes with just our air. So we're going to play eighth notes at 60 beats per minute, and I recommend alternating these eighth notes with some longer notes so that you can come back to a longer tone and work on your sound and, and making sure that your shorter air spurts or air darts match the sound you're getting on your long tones. So I'll demonstrate and then you can pause the video and try it yourself. Now, using the full instrument, we're going to play a pattern of eighth notes and quarter notes, still using just air attacks without tongue. You can do the same pattern as I play, or you can create your own similar pattern. I'm going to start on middle F and work my way down F major scale and stop on low F. Again, feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Next, I'll do the same pattern going up the F major scale from low F, but this time I'm going to incorporate my tongue. So remember from part one that we're going to tongue with about a quarter to half an inch back from the tip of our tongue to the very tip of the reed in a valve-like motion. And we're going to think about touching just one taste bud of our tongue to the very tip of the reed lightly, just like we do for legato. But remember that for air darts, it's your air stream that's creating the length of your notes and the shape of your notes. So be focused on that. And again, you can alternate the pattern and come back to playing longer notes if you need to. So I'll play an example and then you can pause the video and you should try it yourself. <laughs> Thank you. 
now we're ready to try this in the low register and the high register. So even though I would practice doing this with tongue and without tonguing, I'm going to demonstrate these exercises with tongue. So I'm going to start on low F and I'm going to go down to low B flat and come back up. And then I'm going to start on middle F and go all the way up to high F and come back down to middle F. If you don't know all the notes in your high register and low register yet, you should just go as low as you know how and as high as you know how. And it will come with time. This is a great way to practice. If you struggle a lot with articulation, especially doing air darts, you can go back to the part one video and review some of those exercises because that will help you gain control over your articulation in those registers in general. And then you might feel more ready to try air darts. So I'm gonna play and then you can stop the video and try these yourself. Just remember that it's the air that creates your sound and the shape of your notes. thing I recommend you do to work on air darts staccato is to improvise and really focus on the style or character that you're going for with the articulation. So with air darts I like to think of something excited, bubbly, uh, fun, playful, or even dance-like. So one thing you could think of that's even more specific is a child skipping through the fields or you could think of a volleyball getting tossed around the volleyball court, or even a frog jumping around on lily pads on a pond. It doesn't really matter, and I would really recommend you use your imagination and think of all kinds of things. So every time you play, you can think of a different character or a different imagery to really create something interesting. So I'll play an example using F major. I'm going to stick with 60 beats per minute, and I'll see what I come up with. And then I hope you'll try it too. Now it's time to talk about tongue stop staccato and try some exercises to practice this. So while air darts are spurts of air, t -t 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 coming from here, 
Stop staccato, or tongue stop staccato, it has many different names, uh, is accomplished by having a continuous airstream, but bringing the tongue back to the reed to stop the vibration of the reed. So it sounds more like this. So my air is continuous, but it's my tongue resting on the reed for a very short moment that is creating that space between notes, which we need to play at faster tempos. So we're going to do this in slow motion. So if this is the mouthpiece and this is my tongue, we're going to start with a long tone. Then we're going to bring the tongue forward to stop the vibration of the reed, which should also stop our sound. There might be some air that goes into the mouthpiece and that's okay. Then we're going to bring the tongue back and play a note. Then we're going to bring the tongue back again to the reed and stop the note. So it'll be long tone, rest, quarter note, rest, quarter note, rest. And we'll do this at 60 beats per minute. And let's just do it on a middle F for starters. So it'll sound like this. E D D D D. And I like to think of deet or deed as my syllable for this. And you can practice on the roof of your mouth. To pressurize the air if you want to as well. So let's do it on the instrument in slow motion. And again, pause the video and try it yourself. After doing that exercise on middle F, I would go ahead and do it on the entire range of the instrument to gain the most control. The next thing we're going to do is to actually play some shorter tongue stop notes. We're going to take a quarter note and then follow that with a short tongue stop note, as short as you can play it, but with a full sound and good air support. And after that short note, your tongue should come back to stop the vibration of the reed which also pressurizes the air. So it'll sound a bit like this. Once I do that and get the hang of it, I can add another short note. Then I can add another short note. And then I would go up to four short notes following the quarter note. Okay, so now we're ready to try it on the saxophone. You can try it on just the neck, but I'm going to demonstrate it on middle F. And then again, I would try this on the entire range of the instrument. it's time to improvise using different rhythmic patterns with our tongue stop staccato. So use your imagination and think about what kind of character or mood could you be setting with this type of articulation. I like to think of, at stronger dynamics, something that's insistent, persistent, powerful, uh, maybe even forceful. And then at softer dynamics, maybe there's a sneakiness to the character a mysteriousness that you're trying to capture. Uh, you could even think of actual things that uh, use these sounds, like Morse code or uh, woodpecker. Really, it's up to you to explore your options with this. So put a metronome on a tempo that makes sense. Uh, you can start at quarter note equals 100, or you can go slower if you want to practice the technique slower. And again, you can start with a smaller range in the middle register, like on middle F, 
and then you can explore and do the extreme registers and see what you come up with. As you continue working on these exercises a little bit every day, I highly recommend that you vary the dynamic you're playing at, the register you're playing in, and your tempo. This will give you the most control and improve all the different areas of your playing. The goal here is to be able to see a staccato marking in your music and use staccato in your improvisation successfully and artistically. Now that we've done a deep dive into staccato articulation, Part three of this series is going to focus on tenuto articulation, accents, and finally, combining everything we've done in this series to play a passage of music with expression.